Recently, astronomers have made a stunning discovery that could shed new light on the mysteries of the early universe. They have found a large-scale structure in the distant universe that stretches across the sky, connecting 20 ancient galaxies that are so far away that we see them as they were when the universe was only 1.5 billion years old, and they have named it the Cosmic Vine. It is one of the most amazing and important discoveries in the field of astronomy. In this video, we will explore the Cosmic Vine in detail and answer some of the questions that it raises, such as, how big and old is the Cosmic Vine? What are the properties of the galaxies in it? How did they interact and influence each other? And what does the Cosmic Vine tell us about the history and future of the universe? So, if you are curious and excited to learn more about this discovery, stay tuned and watch this video until the end. The Cosmic Vine was discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope, the successor of the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been operating since 1990. By using the James Webb data, the astronomers were able to detect and measure the Cosmic Vine in unprecedented detail. They found that the Cosmic Vine has a total mass of about 1014 solar masses and extends over about 4 by 0.2 physical megaparsecs. A physical megaparsec is a unit of length that corresponds to about 3.26 million light years. They found that it consists of a cluster of galaxies, which are the bright spots in the image, and a filament of gas and dust, which is the faint bridge that connects them. The filament is mostly made of hydrogen gas, which is the most abundant element in the universe, and which is the fuel for star formation. The cosmic vine is located at a redshift of 3.44, which means it is about 11.8 billion light years away from us. This also means that we are seeing the cosmic vine as it was when the universe was only about 1.8 billion years old, which is about 13% of its current age. This is why the cosmic vine is so important, because it shows us how galaxies formed and evolved in the early universe, and how they were connected by the cosmic web of gas and dust. It is also a rare and valuable example of a large-scale structure in the early universe, which can help us test and refine the theoretical models of cosmology and answer some of the fundamental questions about the origin, structure, and fate of the universe. The galaxies in the cosmic vine are not only far and old, but also diverse and complex. The astronomers use data from James Webb to study the properties of the galaxies in this huge structure, such as their stellar masses, star formation rates, dust contents, and morphologies. By analyzing the data from Webb Telescope, the astronomers could measure the brightness and the color of the galaxies in the cosmic vine, which are related to their physical characteristics. They found that the galaxies in the cosmic vine have a wide range of stellar masses, from 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of 11 solar masses. A solar mass is the mass of our sun, which is about two times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. The stellar mass is the total mass of all the stars in a galaxy, which is an indicator of how big and old the galaxy is. The galaxies in the cosmic vine also have a wide range of star formation rates, from 0.1 to 100 solar masses per year. The star formation rate is the amount of mass that is converted into new stars in a galaxy per unit time, which is an indicator of how active and young the galaxy is. Some of the galaxies in the cosmic vine are forming stars at a very high rate, while others are quiescent. The galaxies in the cosmic vine also have a wide range of dust contents, from 0.01 to 1 solar masses. The dust content is the amount of interstellar dust in a galaxy, which is composed of tiny grains of carbon, silicon, and other elements. It is an indicator of how enriched and evolved the galaxy is, as dust is produced by the death of stars and the chemical reactions of gas. Some of the galaxies in the cosmic vine are very dusty, while others are relatively dust-free. These galaxies also have different morphologies, or shapes, ranging from irregular to disc-like to elliptical. Morphology is an indicator of how the galaxy has been affected by gravity, rotation, and interactions. Some of the galaxies in the cosmic vine are very distorted and asymmetric, while others are more regular and symmetric. The diversity and complexity of the galaxies in the cosmic vine 
reflect the different stages and modes of galaxy evolution in the early universe. The cosmic vine is not only a fascinating structure to observe, but also a challenging structure to explain. It poses some problems and puzzles for the current models and theories of galaxy formation and evolution, which are based on the standard cosmological model, also known as the Lambda Cold Dark Matter, or LCDM model. This model assumes that the universe is composed of about 70% dark energy, 25% dark matter, and 5% ordinary matter, and that it began with a Big Bang, followed by a period of rapid inflation, and then a gradual expansion and cooling. According to this model, the first structures to form in the universe were small fluctuations in the density of matter, which grew under the influence of gravity and dark matter. These fluctuations eventually collapsed into the first stars and galaxies, which then merged and clustered into larger and larger structures, forming the cosmic web that we see today. The Lambda Cold Dark Matter model has been very successful in explaining many observations of the large-scale structure of the universe, such as the cosmic microwave background radiation, the distribution of galaxies, and the gravitational lensing effect. However, the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model also faces some difficulties and limitations in explaining some of the observations of the small-scale structure of the universe, such as the properties and evolution of individual galaxies especially at high redshifts. The cosmic vine is one of these difficulties, as it challenges some of the assumptions and predictions of the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. For example, this model predicts that the large-scale structures at high redshifts should be less massive and less complex than those at low redshifts, due to the limited time and space available for their formation and growth. However, the cosmic vine is very massive and complex, comparable to some of the largest structures in the present-day universe. How did the cosmic vine form and grow so quickly and efficiently in the early universe? Another example is that the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model predicts that the galaxies at high redshifts should be more homogeneous and simple than those at low redshifts, due to the lack of metal enrichment and feedback processes. However, the galaxies in the cosmic vine are very heterogeneous and complex, showing a wide range of masses, star formation rates, dust contents, and morphologies. How did the galaxies in the cosmic vine acquire such diversity and complexity in the early universe? These are some of the questions that the cosmic vine raises and that the astronomers hope to answer with more observations and simulations. In conclusion, the cosmic vine is a remarkable discovery that reveals a new aspect of the early universe and challenges our understanding of how galaxies form and evolve. It is one of the largest and oldest structures ever found at a very high redshift of 3.44, consisting of 20 galaxies. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask or share them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you next time.